Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. This is Moverine, and today we're going to be all over the place talking about Drip, talking about the Guardians, talking about a bunch of other stuff that are happening this weekend. So guys, stick around till the end of the video to learn more and make sure to tune in to the 200 Drip airdrop. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off with the Guardians of the Reservoir because obviously it's one of the hottest NFT projects in DeFi as a whole. And I think in Drip as a whole, this is one of the hottest uh, NFT projects that has ever dropped. The The numbers that we're seeing are incredible. We have an 11,000 trade volume, $11,000 trade volume in the last 24 hours what the hell guys this is incredible you guys are amazing so you see here the 2200 uh was for the bid of the forex now the floor price is at 0 0.7 you know what that means that's a 7x for those that are selling this is a floor price right so this means that the lowest nft that's being sold right now is at a 0 0.7 which means it's very very uh, lucrative right because those who bought it at 0 0.1 of the whitelist or even after the whitelist just did a 7x if they're selling it right now which is incredible i'm happy that you guys are, are making your bread and we're happy that actually you guys are enjoying this project so if you guys are tuning in to the uh, twitter page you can see that we posted a tweet saying that a day and a few buys and sells later congratulations to our second golden forex nft in the wild so somebody actually was able to collect and burn all of these uh, 13 nfts so this makes all of these a bit rarer right so if you see there's two moverines that are getting a bit rare because two of them are burned from circulation there's one thor over here there's one thoronite over here there's DeFi dialogue over here there's a drip girl over here like these like there's two sugar pools Guys, these now are getting rarer and rarer, which is why... Okay, so these were burnt, and somebody was able to claim the second Golden Forex. So there's two more Golden... Uh, three more Golden Forexes left, right? So this is very, very good, in my opinion. I'm super bullish, guys. Let's look at the the highest bids right now. That's, that's kind of something that interests me. Holy. Drypto Man is selling for 3.5 BNB. This is a regular, right? 3.5 divided by 0 0.1. Let's look at this, guys. 35x, bro. 35x. If this actually sells for 3.5, man, Lee, you're wanted on the market, my friend. You're wanted. Max Fury, 3.5 as well. That's a 35x. Guys, these are regular NFTs. They're not even the super rare ones. This is a rare one. 1.59. That's a 15x. Like, this is incredible, guys. These 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, These NFTs are selling like hotcakes. And again, I'm going to remind you guys again. If you see this pack over here, if you see this pack over here, don't get them. This is, uh, it's not a, a legit pack. It's just uh, a dummy pack that is going to be empty. This is just something that uh, allowed us to present a placeholder for all the people that had a whitelist. Uh, until they can get theirs minted these had to be sent to the burn address those that have not sent them yet they might have just uh, not had the chance to do so so all of those that are being sold don't buy them guys they're just dummies okay but anyways i'm super happy for the project as a whole guys Eleven thousand trading volume that's incredible right so the next thing i want to talk about quickly is a quick overview of what happened today in the ama so there was a lot of bullish information that was dropped um there's a lot of information that was dropped that I might cover in a different video, but like separate uh, segments for separate parts of the AMA because I really like this AMA. Uh, but I'm going to just cover quickly what drip information was given today. So the new UI, the new landing page, new airdrop system, fiat on wrap, including cool incentive structure, full cross chain functionality for people to swap into drip from EVM chains. OK, so you can go from any other chain and get drip into our ecosystem uh major dexes for example uh so forex wasn't happy with the initial design that was given 
um, to him. So he gave the feedback to the developers, whoever were, you know, creating those designs and uh, they're working on those designs and hopefully are finishing that last couple of details. And you know, when you're, when you're hearing Forex talk about it, you can hear the passion in his voice. You can hear that um, he's not like, he wants the project to succeed at a hundred percent level. And if it's 99%, he's not going to be satisfied and he's going to wish he would have done that one extra five minute detail to make the project that much better. Right? So this is super cool. I'm waiting for that to happen. Now there's two more projects that are being developed in the community, which is amazing. The drip lottery is what it was called before. Now it's called the drip raffle. I listened to a video by Ray, which you guys should really listen to. It's really, really good. Uh, he said it's better not to call it lottery just in case there's going to be any trouble with the law or something. Uh, so now they call it the, the, the raffle. It's built by members of the community. The contract that allows people to deposit into the faucet and pay an additional fee to win a prize. That prize gets added to the faucet stake. There's also a prize for larger. The larger your deposit, the better the prize. We can incorporate this into the fiat on-ramp as well as an incentive. It will allow you to sacrifice in the tax vault and get a prize. People are already sacrificing to support the project and now they can be rewarded for that. Contracts are completed, front-end is developed, but there's been some feedback given. So essentially, he gave the feedback waiting for some return and um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last one of the last videos, but they told him this is what we have going on he initially said no but then he he looked at it a bit further knowing that they actually developed a big portion of it he gave them some feedback if they were willing to change and then he gave them his approval so now they're working on it and hopefully within the next week or two this is going to be live and the community can start sacrificing the tax fault and be able to win some prizes in return as opposed to right now sacrificing and just doing it for the pure joy of it and the pure uh, community support the drip game that's also another game that's being developed auto battler game that has been planned it was already developed by a third party that was prepared to go live with the with the project on their own because they are familiar with our ecosystem ecosystem they decided they would get more attention if they would launch it in a way that it was launched on our platform to support our assets so that's pretty cool so he met with the dev, he was blown away, which is amazing. He gave him some feedback so, to make sure that he wouldn't get botted because I think he noticed that he could easily get that project botted. So he doesn't want that to happen. The NFT battler game where you mint your character as an NFT, character has random attributes and you can go and battle other players. You can play them head to head or you can wager with them. Wagering will be done with BUSD, but a large portion of this BUSD will be used to buy native assets and remove them from circulation. There are arenas you can battle in, and these are owned by the users, buy land and build arenas. Any wagers done in those arenas are proceeds. Um, arenas, the proceeds go to the user owner. There are also gangs and gang leaders where the gang leaders can get cuts from their gang. Every excited, very excited about it. So he's very excited about the game. Leaders can get, uh, sorry, the game will be released and the new elements will be added as a roadmap. The game will start off using drip, but will also incorporate pigs and dogs. So one thing I like about Forex is that he released dogs, pigs, and drip, and he's planning on just keeping those and not just keep adding tokens as he goes along in his projects. So essentially, this is what I liked about the AMA the most. Another thing was that Scratchy, he said he's almost done development and should be in the auditing and uh, design phase right now. Yeah, sorry, testing phase and auditing. So that should be released very soon as well. Everything else has been touched upon in the past, but there are some things that I'm going to go over in a separate video uh, probably next week. So we're going to take a look at that in more detail. If you guys had a chance to listen to the AMA, what did you guys like about that AMA? If there's something in specific you didn't understand, something you want a bit more clarification on, let me know and I'm going to try my best to make a separate video on that by next week. So that way I can help answer your questions. And also, I am going live this weekend where I go over the portfolio, uh, you know, the crypto portfolio I do every every weekend. Um, and once I do that, I might, you know, answer some questions if you, if you might have any. So uh, make sure to come and join that live stream. All right. So if you guys were able to notice uh, in the previous video that I had, I actually told you guys to uh, watch till the end of the video. I am going to do a 200 drip giveaway if the Guardians of the Reservoir actually sold out. And this is what I'm going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and buy 
200 drip because I'm going to spin the wheel and I'm going to airdrop that winner right away. And you guys can see me do that as well. Um, and I hope one of you guys, uh, you know, enjoy those 200 drip in your faucet. Uh, let's see, 0 0.2325. All right, 25. All right, so guys, by successful, we now have 220 drip in our faucet. The reason for that is because I have, I sorry, not in the faucet, but in the wallet. The reason for that is because I had 10 drip. So I do have a charity wallet that I'm going to be claiming from once a month. For the time being, uh, I'm not sure. You guys let me know. I'm not sure if I should just use the one time a month to just burn drip or just uh, set aside that money to uh, make a deposit at a charity of some sort. We can decide that together later on. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way we could just do that online here. It would be much simpler. But let me know what you guys think. But right now, let's go ahead and... So right now, let's just go ahead and spin the wheel. So all these guys actually uh, messaged me on Twitter. And there's only Rich who doesn't have Twitter. So I added his name anyways because he's a cool guy. He always comments on my videos. Um, so I'll, I'll spin the wheel. And whoever wins here, this is going to be the first spin. Whoever wins gets 200 drip, baby. And I have all these people's wallets, except Rich. I have all these people's wallet addresses so I can just DM them. So shout out to Susie. Shout out to D6PSN. Shout out to... Shout out to West Side Ian, Jeffrey Israel, Trader T-Man, Vagnelio, Lavelle, Sarur, and Rich. You guys are OGs. Listen till the end of my video. You know, oh, Jeffrey has a typo. Listen till the end of my video. I actually took the time to DM me. And now we're going to make one of you guys happy. Let's do it. Congratulations to Sarur Alwan. Let's do this. Perfect. All right, so Sarur, congratulations, my boy. You got 200 drip. I bet you didn't su suspect winning 200 drip today, but you know what? You deserve it. 200 drip going to your faucet, my friend. So uh, uh, whenever you see this in tomorrow's video, just give me um, a DM, you know? Let's send me a DM. Anyways, I'm going to send you a DM anyways with the transaction has, but that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, now today what we're going to also be doing is I'm going to review my droplet account over here because yesterday i did the uh, transfer of gds into the boardroom and i uh, collected some some lit but i didn't film it because i was focused on doing guardians of the reservoir video i'm going to do the same thing right now so i'm going to go ahead and uh, do the whole exchange in front of you guys and you guys let me know if there's any questions tomorrow there's going to be a ooh, i'm going to show you guys in a second all right, so essentially in my lit BUSD, we've generated 12 bucks because the APRs are going down, the price of lit went down, the price of GDS went down, and that there's a whole drama going on in the lit community, and they're taking it very, very well. They know how to handle their stuff, which is impressive. These guys know what they're doing. The APR is still 1500 a year. This is incredible, guys. 4% a day is incredible. Like, we shouldn't be complaining about any of this. This is amazing. 420. What a number, right? So anyways, let's go ahead and claim that. 12 bucks of GDS. That's crazy. I don't know if I said lit earlier, but that's 12 bucks worth of GDS. We're going to claim those. We're going to go ahead and deposit that in the, in the boardroom and collect the, the, the lit that was generated over there. And hopefully, we'll be able to do that for a few more times before... We're able to take some profits. Like, I'm not going to take profits anytime soon. I want to just grow my position. Perfect. So that is right away done. Perfect. Now we go ahead to the boardroom. The boardroom over here, you have to make sure when you're able to deposit, when you're able to claim. But right now, we're going to go ahead and claim our lit. Perfect. You have to claim your rewards before you deposit any GDS. And the reason for that is because as soon as you deposit your GDS, the timer resets and you're not able to claim your rewards anymore. In my first video talking about Droplet, I said something different where I said if you deposit your GDS, it's going to automatically claim your lit, which was false, but I didn't do my research properly. But I understood later on that it just resets your timer. All right, so I, I claimed my rewards right now. If you go ahead to the... Uh, um, sorry, if we go ahead to the to the leaderboard, sorry, if you go ahead to the dashboard and come back to the boardroom, the lit has been claimed. Uh, and right now we can just go ahead and add GTS, max. 
confirm. Again, if you guys are equipped with a bunch of questions, don't hesitate to ask me, guys. Like, it'd be my pleasure to help you out with this platform. Like, I'm learning too, but I kind of understand the basics of it. Uh, overall, I feel confident in what I'm doing here, so that's pretty cool. Perfect. Now that's staked. We look over here. Now we have 0 0.05. That's 45 bucks staked. Just imagine we were able to to generate $45 worth of GDS in the past in the past week. I made 45 bucks in a week. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, now, guys, we have some. So, okay, so what, what I'm going to do now is because I have some BUSD in my wallet, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pair whatever lid that I was able to generate from the boardroom and just add it to my position here, right? So what I'll be doing is going to PancakeSwap. I wasn't planning on doing that, but seeing that, like, I'm going to just DCA some of it in the garden, DCA some in lit, DCA some in dogs. I think that's going to be pretty cool overall. We're dabbling in every single part of the ecosystem. Liquidity, lit BUSD, add liquidity. Um, we have 1.29 lit. If we click on max, it's going to automatically pair it with whatever amount of BUSD you need. So right now we need 4.7 BUSD. Go ahead and confirm supply. That's going to add me a little bit of uh, LP that's going to be transferred right away. So it's going to be staked right away in the lid BUSD farm. See, that's how you grow your position. You dollar cost average your position in, and that's what I like to do. Some people want to wait for the bottom. I don't know how to time the bottom. I don't want to miss out on any gains, so I just dollar cost my dollar cost average my position into the platform to ensure that you know i take part of it learn and i grow with it now i have 99 dollars worth of busd that i'm going to buy some dogs with and we'll decide where to put that together um but now we can go back to droplet go to view and then we can go ahead and deposit so now we were able to generate to sorry to create 2.22 busd lit lp go ahead and click max click add Confirm. Perfect. So now we're going to go from 67 to about 70 LPs. I think so, unless we're getting taxed, in which case it's going to be like 69. Um, 70. Ooh, 70 lit BUSD LPs right away. 70 LPs, amazing. I started with 59, now I'm 70. So once the price of lit goes back up, the price of GDS goes back up, like right now my dashboard shows that I have... I have $337 worth of um, staking and boardroom uh, staking as well. That's going to probably go over 400 easy as soon as uh, the price of lit goes back up. And I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I think it's going to go back up eventually. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. All right. Now, what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to buy myself some dogs. Okay, and what I have right now is $99. $99 can get me five dogs, okay? But what I want to do first is I want to completely fill my auto compounding pool. Right now I have, sorry, not fill, but I want to add to my goal of 25. So 25 minus 22.87 is 2.13 dogs is what I need right now right? That's a minimum of how much I need. So what I'll do first is I want to add to my drip garden position. Right now I have 34 million. If I add a few dollars in here, I can probably get this to a pretty good chunk, right? So what I'll do is I'm going to add some liquidity. We're going to go ahead to the drip liberation. And then once I like, I'm going to put 20 bucks, okay, I'm going to put 20 bucks in here. And, um, as soon as I, I do that, I'll just put the rest in dogs and I'll separate that in 
in uh, auto compounding and then linear pool and then going forward i'm just going to be adding to the linear pool because i want to grow that position to 25 as well man it's been a long time i haven't dollar cost averaged my position in here but it's, oh man i miss it i really miss the garden i haven't been paying too much attention there's too many things going on this video right now has been going on for 25 minutes i don't know if you guys are not even watching at this point but you know i'm having fun making this video and that's really what i'm doing these videos for because i enjoy doing them all right so go back over here to the garden and i have perfect All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and click max. Buy 9 million plants. Oof. 20 bucks buys you 9 million plants. That's incredible. Like, when I first started, I put in 500 US dollars, I think, and it bought me 128 plants. And now 20 bucks is buying me 9 million plants. Phew, what kind of return on investment is that? Kind of reverse, isn't it? Man, the garden is a sleeping giant. When this thing wakes up, we're going to be eaten, just like Ray says. We're going to be eaten. And I think Thomas G says that too. Anyways, 45 million plants. Congratulations, guys. You and me have witnessed the growth of my garden from 128 to 45 million. That's pretty cool. All right, so now I have the rest of my BUSD that I'm going to buy some dogs with. Max, 79 bucks. Ah, the website keeps lagging. Four dogs, bro. That's good. I like four dogs. That means I'm going to add 4.05526. 4.05526. That means I'm going to add close to two to three in the auto compounding pool. And then the rest is going to go into linear. So we're going to go our position in both, which is pretty cool. I like that. Perfect. Now go to the dog pound. If you go to the dog pound at the bottom, you see you have four dogs in your pool. Those are going to 6% tax reduction because I've been in uh, the in the staking pools for 6% decrease in tax. Uh, essentially, every month you get like 2%, I think, or 1% reduction in your, in your loyalty tax. Uh, so it just adds more reduction overall to your dog. So the longer you stake, the, the better chances you have as at uh, lowering the amount of taxes you get despite um, you're going to lower your taxes as long as you're staked and as soon as you buy let's say after let's say 10 months then your tax is going to be right away down to 20 percent uh, reduction instead of starting at 90 you know perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to 2.13 so i'm going to go ahead at the auto compounding pool i'm going to put 2.13 dogs in here because buying dogs at 19 bucks what a good buy 25 dogs auto compounding pool finally finally this has been a long time coming how many freaking videos did i do telling you guys i want to get to 25 over here right now we're just gonna i also claimed all my pigs right away that we're gonna go ahead and stake in the in the pig pen right away right now. So I made a dollar in the BNB pool. I'm just gonna go ahead and claim that later. But I'm just gonna like once I deposit, it's gonna claim it automatically. So I'm gonna add to this to the linear pool 1.91 dog. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the whole thing. 6.93 in the linear pool. Amazing guys, I'm so happy. Now, every time I'm going to claim from the farms, I'm going to put them in the linear pool until this number gets to 25. And then I'm going to go ahead in the farms and I'm going to fill my dog's WBNB and my dog's BUSD as much as I can, as much as I can, as much as I can until I get those to a good number. Because those ultimately will earn me pigs. And this one has a 15x, this one has a 12x, so this is going to be a very good farm. The animal farm has been doing great, guys. Everybody's selling right now because they're at their 
tax reduction. So they're just selling to grab as much money as they want. I think their farms are doing really good. If you look at the pools, like 26% BNB, 22% BUSD, like these guys are doing good. 17%, 43%, everything is doing very good. Like these, these numbers, you can't get them anywhere else. Fun fact, the place that I had my BTC and my B, my Ethereum on just went bankrupt. So I would have lost all my money. But in the animal farm, my money is safe and I, I don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? And I'm earning passively. Right. So guys, the last part of today's video, I just want to give you guys a, a quick update on what's going to happen Friday, February 3rd at 8 p.m. EST. There's going to be a live AMA with Moonshot Max. Paris from Droplet, Dryptopian is going to be there. It's going to be like 1 a.m. or something, but the guy is still going to be there. He's going to be chilling, drinking beer. Crypto Tiger is going to be here. S-Crypto 101 is going to be here. Legend 7 Crypto is going to be here. And, of course, Moonshot is going to be there, and I'm going to be there as well. It's going to be a pretty cool conversation. You guys should tune in. It's going to be fun. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions about Droplet and how it works, come and ask them to the developer He's going to be there to ask all your to answer all your questions. That's going to be fun. Another event you guys should be knowing about because it's happening Saturday morning. There's going to be an AMA with me and Drip to Wealth Kryptonite. You guys know him. He's very very knowledgeable in traditional finance, and I'm so excited to have him on. We're going to do a live stream at 9 a.m. CST, 10 a.m. EST, guys. I would love it if you guys can make it because. You know, I want to try to 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 learn more about traditional finance because I have some questions that I'd like to ask. I prepared a list of questions, and you know, for those that don't know whether they should be investing in stocks, traditional finance versus crypto, what's better, um, when should you invest in what? Like, I have a bunch of questions written down already, and I'm just super excited to be able to share that. So this is going to be Saturday, February fourth, at 9 a.m. CST, 10 a.m. EST. This is going to be Saturday morning. Then Saturday evening, we're going to have the Mega Live, Mega Lotto. That's going to be super fun as well. Um, Sunday, I'm not sure if there's going to be anything, but I'm super excited for that as well. But anyways, guys, Mujad Max, Friday night. Then this is going to be happening Saturday morning. I'm super pumped, guys. I hope you guys are pumped as well, but I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Man, it was jam-packed with a bunch of information, but I couldn't leave any of the information out. I really wanted to give you all that information to try to, you know, stuff it in one video. It's a long video. I really hope you guys, you know, listen till the end. Uh, but listen, guys, if you've enjoyed the content that I've provided, if you're bullish about the Guardians, if you're bullish about the AMAs that are happening, if you're bullish about the ecosystem as a whole and you want to be interacting and communicating and supporting us creators because it, really it really helps us when you come in, tune into the lives, like the video, subscribe and comment. And, you know, guys, I'm super happy to get to know you. If you guys want to ask me questions on the live, I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any questions that you have that you want me to ask Kryptonite, he's very I think his background is in finance, so that's going to be very interesting to listen to because he does a lot of cryptocurrency investing, but I think he has a lot of real estate, a lot of financing, uh, like traditional financing stuff. So I'm super pumped to do this show, and I hope you guys are going to be pumped as well. If you have any questions that you want me to ask him, either leave it in the comment section below or DM me on Twitter, DM me on Telegram. Guys, you know where to find me. I'm on Telegram all the time. Um, but anyways, I'm super excited to talk to you guys on the weekend. I'll see you guys there. Um, there might be another, actually, there might be another live stream of the crypto show that I do. Well, sorry, the crypto portfolio that I do every single weekend, man, my words are just jambling and, you know, like mixing together, but I'm super excited uh, for what's to come in the next few days. And I hope you guys are, are as well. So I'll see you guys then.